visit our website startupstories.in for more inspirational stories and updates from the startup world. Startup Stories in association with Olook.in Few are those companies who blow you away and make you wonder how a business can be so cool and so awesome. We had Facebook, Apple and Tesla and then we had a company whose sole intention was to make transport easy and efficient. Well, travelling within the world's busiest cities is always a hassle to those of us who do not own a vehicle of our own. Public transport is often unsuitable in terms of comfort and privacy and is quite cumbersome too. It also does not cater to specific times or immediate needs of travel within a city. However, there is one company that is trying its best to overcome this hurdle. This is the company which has not just ensured our commute is hassle-free but also made sure that it's economical and luxurious. Today, we are talking about the success story of the world's biggest taxi network company, Uber, which is the brainchild of Travis Kalanick and Garrett Kang. The story of Uber takes us back to 2008. When Travis and Camp were attending Lee Web Conference in Paris, Travis and Camp, like old pals, were complaining about the many crappy things we all have to deal with in life, including finding a cab when we are packed with luggage under the rain and no taxi seems to pass by. Well, it seemed like the Eiffel Tower or Paris's finest restaurants were not enough to distract them from a brilliant idea trapped under the grey clouds because the next thing you know, these two Uber kids were already brainstorming and thinking about ways to solve this global issue of finding cars at the right time and the right place. After the conference, the entrepreneurs went their separate ways. But Camp returned to San Francisco and he continued to be fixated with the idea and bought the domain name ubercab.com. Till 2009, Garrett Camp was still the CEO of StumbleUpon. But he began working on a prototype for Ubercab as a side project. Garrett took the lead and went on playing around with a couple of ideas, prototyping several solutions and engineering a mobile app for the iPhone that would revolutionize the very idea of getting around. Initially, the idea was for a timeshare Zemo service that could be ordered via an app. Well, it did not take long before Travis joined the ride to work with him as the chief incubator. The service was tested in New York in early 2010 using only three cars and the official launch took place in San Francisco later in May. Ryan Graves, who was Uber's general manager and an important figure in the early stages of the company, became CEO of Uber in August 2010. However, later in December 2010, Travis Kalanick took over as the CEO while Ryan assumed the role of COO and a board member. Well, with just a few cars and even fewer people knowing about the startup at the time, Uber still went on to be a big hit. Soon after, San Francisco joined in to host Uber. And since then, there is no stopping to this magnificent idea as it has just been growing exponentially till date. The ease and simplicity of booking a car ride fueled the app's rising popularity. With the tap of a button, a ride could be ordered and GPS would automatically identify your location, which would be conveyed to the driver through the app. This system was widely accepted by people, and later, more number of people started using Uber. Later, in October of 2010, the company received its first major funding of $1.25 million, led by first round capital. However, their happiness was short lived. As in the same month, the company received a seasoned desist order from the San Francisco Municipal Transportation Agency. One of the main issues cited was the use of the word cab in Uber Cab's name. However, even with the lawsuit going, Travis was ready to fight back. He did not shut the business down and kept the cars rolling. All he did was he dropped the word cab from the company name and renamed it to just Uber. He later bought Uber.com domain name from Universal Music Group and next, he went to meet the city's municipal transportation agency and explained that Uber was not a taxi company. Instead, 
they were a portal offering technology service to independent drivers. Coming out with a clean jet, Uber began its widespread expansion using various ways, mediums and strategies. One of their strategies was surge pricing policy, which meant to lower the prices when the demand is low and increase it when the demand goes high. This is the very scheme used by airlines and hotels. However, this strategy received immense criticism from every angle. But Travis being the rebel entrepreneur, he laughed it off and did not care much for it. Rather, he was focusing mostly on business expansion to multiple cities and countries. Starting May 2011, the company began expanding into a new city every month across the United States. And by the year end, they began expanding internationally as well. The first foreign country where Uber was launched was France, where they launched their service in Paris. And around the same time, it also closed a $32 million Series B funding round led by Menlo Ventures, Amazon's Jeff Bezos and Goldman Sachs. After almost two years of branching out its services to more cities and incrementing a series of new campaigns and projects, the company launched its services in India and Africa. The move occurred in August 2030 after Google Ventures invested a whopping $258 million into the company as part of a Series C funding round. Now, as Uber grew internationally, it also began experiencing disputes with governments, taxi companies, competitors, critics and many others in a lot of regions. There have been many protests and a lot of violence has also been seen at various levels. Failing to resolve the issues, many cities have also asked for a complete shutdown of the service. By Travis being the new and improvised version of him, he successfully managed to make his way whenever there was an obstacle, using his mastermind tricks and strategies. He hired former Barack Obama campaign manager David as a lobbyist to mobilize public support for the service. He also launched Uber Chopper, Uber Pool, Uber Rush, Uber Essentials and Uber Fresh in different cities of the world. Well, Travis did create his own path to fight the competitors and enemies and to bring the company to where it is today. Uber's disruptive technology, explosive growth and constant controversy make it one of the most fascinating companies to emerge over the past decade. The 8-year-old company has rocketed to become the highest valued private startup company in the world, valued by investors at $69 billion. It exceeds the market cap of giant companies like General Motors, Ford Motor Company and Tesla. Today, Travis Kalanick has single-handedly managed to royally grow his business empire by negotiating with the government, the regulators and by defeating his competitors in almost every country that Uber operates in. Startup Stories congratulates Travis Kalanick and Uber for their phenomenal growth. We truly wish it keeps growing exponentially with time. Thank you so much everyone for suggesting us to bring Uber and Travis Kalanick's success story. We hope you liked it. Do let us know whose story do you want to see next in the comment section below and we'll soon have it uploaded on this channel. For more inspirational stories and updates from the startup world, visit our website startupstories.in. Till then, stay motivated.